I think for yeah, I think he got a fourth place in a no. very important regional tournament in Mexico. He got third. Ah, uh, he got third. Okay, better then. So let's see what happens here with Gilhu. Uh, we saw Luz we saw a Lucina from Javi. I love to see a Lucina, but I don't know what's going on with the mind of Javi because I think this matchup is going is going better for Kirby than with Lucina. By the way, if I might add, he got third place at the. The regional, yes, at Wizards Fest, but he lost against the first and second seeds of that tournament, Sky J and Alan Disc, so nobody else was able to beat him, not even Leaf, the best player in Querétaro. So yeah, Gilhue definitely a player to beat now, that Kirby is nothing to slouch at. But yeah, like you said, about this matchup, Lucina seems to bring a lot more consistency to the table, I don't think Hobby wants to deal with all the sour spots that he might have with Roy. He does not want Gilhu to, for, to live for long, and if he does, well, at least you have the knowledge that Lucina is bringing you a consistent hitbox. Yeah, that's right. He's not like Mar that Marvel. He's a very, he's a very inconsistent character. Uh, I always say that Lucina is the better Mar player. So let's see what happens in this. Uh, Javi is putting a lot of pressures, and I think a lot of what Javi is doing is just like observe what options. Gilhio is taking to punish him and and just Javi like he reacts to whatever because this is offline so Javi can react better to what to what Gilhio is doing he gets the up shield from Gilhio and now he's he's taking advantage in in Smashville yes indeed that's the first stock and like we told you guys already that consistency is super extra Ooh. important oh my god no, don't tell me that. Oh, yeah. Okay, it was looking like Javi might be able to steal something from Gilhu. And you know, this is a match of honesty. Lucina is also an extremely honest character. You know what's gonna happen when you hit her moves. And careful, Gilhu's running out of jumps. He was actually in somewhat of danger there. But Javi still lets him come back to the station. By the way, I would just like to mention <laughs> look at that, the the til the, the teabagging. And also look at Gilhu's endgame tag. J Baldera Z like <laughs> they put him to sleep. Yeah, like uh, like Min Min and Kazuya Zeta Zeta Zeta. <laughs> we no. got to sleep with those characters. Now it's a joke, Aqua. Don't worry. We love no, your Kazuya. I do hate Min Min, so I do agree with you. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hate Min. I think I think it's safe to know that we all hate Min Min. But doing with now the match that is happening before our eyes. Javi is doing a lot of better, 117 percent. But Gilhu, it's uh, he's a car. I don't know, like I, I I don't have a lot of opinion against Gilhu, like having a person to hike because he's a person that can't steal. So let's see what happens. Javi is playing very very safe. He knows that the stock is going against him very. Yeah, then that patient gets rewarded, and that second stock is gonna go well. For Javi, and see what Gihu does to take that second stock, or maybe Javi ends the things here and says, "What? You know what? I'm not gonna let you take another stock for me, and that's gonna be the end." Yep, that might just do it, cause Javi is also pretty consistent in his neutral. Like we said already, he is Serge's brother, and Serge preaches neutral, so Javi definitely wants that to happen. He does not play a flashy Lucina. It's not a combo heavy Lucina, but. He knows when to go for the hits, and he also knows when to back down, because sometimes you need to eat a, a hit in order to not take something even heavier. You don't want to lose your stock early, so Javi is a good, is a great player when, in recognizing when to actually get hit by certain moves, and Gilhue does not seem to find many combos either. I think that's a big part of, uh, of this set, what makes it different and why Javi is winning. He is not getting down throw combo or many other of those setups that Gilhue goes for. Yeah, and yeah, that's very, very important. Okay, let's see what happens there. He was trying to make Gilhu to do an option desperate, like an Erdoge or something like that. But Gilhu is also a person that doesn't get scared easily. Let's see what happens. He tries to find the backer, but doesn't work. They are fear from Gilhu. Let's see the situation on ledge. Javi doesn't work. And Javi is trying to recover, but doesn't work. And now Gilhu tries to do the nerd and it works against Gabi. The second stock is now is now for Gilhu. Let's see if he can if he can seal this. But as you said earlier, I'm not seeing like a lot of punish game from Gilhu like in the last two sets that we saw with Gilhu. That he's doing a lot of pressure. 
so I don't know what's gonna happen in this in this game exactly because if Hilhio can do a lot of punish game then that, that then that's a problem with the swordy character. Nope. Yes and yeah. he does run into a lot of issues when playing against an optimal swordy character might I add because we just saw a match against Roy and he dominated but a consistently good and neutral heavy swordy character or sorry, player that you have in front of you will always win those interactions. Because, again, Kirby has no... Well, he does have some disjoints, but... Okay, okay, just, okay, we yeah, saw... We saw that, we yeah, all saw, we that, saw right? that, right? We saw that, yeah, we saw that, right? <laughs> Give him the bird, but... Eh, it's all good fun, he is not... Uh, he does not actually mean that, they're laughing at it, but... Uh, I mean, clearly these guys have developed a bit of a French... Uh, a friendly rivalry. Yeah, it's a friendly rivalry, I think that we... I, well, a lot of people think that that sign in Mexico means something bad, but I say hi to my friends like that, so yeah, don't worry, it's all good, we're friendly here. But now let's see with the match, now tune, I think that Javi, Javi picks, like, he went to the option of leaving Town and City free, because he can do a lot of things in Town and City. I think that this scenario in particular works better from Javi than from Gilhue, because what Javi was, is going to look um, like the best, like the majority of the time, is like getting far away from Gilhue, do spacing and also like, like not getting Gilhue to enter. So I don't know if this is the right scenario from Gilhue, I think that this scenario is better from Javi, but let's see what happens in this in, in this game. Yuhu is trying to adapt, but I don't think I don't think he knows how to enter Javi. Yep, I don't think so either. Javi is definitely putting up a wall. He does not let Gilhu in. And of course, when it comes time to winning center stage, I see Gilhu having such a hard time with it. Oh, interesting counter there. It was only a matter of timing, but Javi definitely has the right idea there. I love how many, many times Javi just goes for that safe option with the counter, but now Gilhu actually catches him once again going off stage with that back here. And Javi, what will he do? Oh! Really? Oh my god, Dude, that's so cool. That's, that's super complicated to do, especially against Kirby with so many jumps. Yeah, that's that's very... I think that Javi knew that he was going to go low and say, well, I didn't punish him with the backer, I didn't punish him with the counter, so maybe a full stool is working. I love that this match is uh, I love that this match is not going in the stage, but it's going far from the stage. He's going off stage to do this kind of thing, so that's very, very good to uh, to know in this set. I think that's gonna be the definition of this match, because now Gilhu is trying to do a lot of things like, like okay, I'm going to draw him off stage because that's where my game really, really shines. And that's also one of the very few times that Gilhu actually got a down tilt into anything. He keeps trying to go for it. Whenever he wins those exchanges, I see something kind of spark up in him, inside him. But unfortunately, it's the minority of the time. Javi really does seem to have his number when it comes to preventing those combos, of course. And we already know how big of uh, elements of Gilhu's play that is, the combo game. And it's not happening. He is forced to play neutral. He's actually doing quite good. Yeah, yeah, Gilhu is is playing a really, really good neutral. Javi finds the second stock, but I mean, Javi is at 122%, as I said it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we saw Gilhu try to do the T-back, and well, let's see what happens now in this last stock. Gilhu now is doing a lot of combos. Now in this last stock, let's see if he tries to do the downer, it doesn't work, try to do the up tilt. Javi is, is doing a pretty good job in spacing. And Gilhu again it he's not finding like the like the like the punishing game that he's accustomed to. But I think that's a good thing because like you said earlier now, um Javi's playing a game with neutral, so Gilhu's like okay, if you're playing a game with neutral then I will do the same. Yeah, and you're fighting against a neutral master here, but Gilhu is actually finding a lot of exchanges in his favor too. But as we speak, the percents are getting a lot closer. Hobby seems to be on the verge of making this completely even, especially with those gifts. No, dude, that was not the right punish. He could have gone for something else, but unfortunately he got too greedy. Although they are both still alive. And now the percent is finally in favor of the Balderas brother. And he is looking for that kill. He manages to hit the dash attack from Kirby too, but no stock. 
Okay, no, the down shield doesn't work right now. Let's see what happens. Now we have the grab back throw. Let's see what Javi does in this situation. Let situation try to do the to do the backer, but doesn't work. Now the backer is doing a lot of things, but Gilho is trying to maintain the patience and the back. It doesn't work because now Javis Lucina is, is doing a pretty damn job to doing this. <laughs> he does he does the sign of the up till like yeah I just killed you from up till what are you going to do? Yeah you can't do anything about it. Hey look at that another one just so you don't forget how I took that stock. And yes, we're approaching the possible last game of the tournament. This, go blog, Roy? this commentary blog okay, actually okay, okay, okay. super quick, unless Gilhu gets the reset, of course, but it's looking complicated. He would need to win three games in a row, and then another three to take the tournament. It's not impossible, but Javi is looking super confident. He's been checking his phone, he's not nervous at all. Gilhu is the one who has to fight for everything here. I mean, it's Mexico, and we have a reputation of of making those three-star comebacks, so I think it's very, very possible. But uh, again, it's really, really hard. I am, I mean, gonna agree with that. So let's see what happens now. Javi putting a lot of pressure. Uh, that punishing main was looking really, really good. Try to do the OP. He doesn't matter what option now he's picking. He's like, okay, I just have to punish him. Now Gilho tries, <laughs> tries that. Like he, he's getting really, really nervous because now Javi is putting the work. Right now, he's. This is looking like a very, very game of Javi. Yep. Definitely is. Javi keeps catching Gilhu whenever he runs and, sorry, wherever he tries to run towards. So, yes, not looking good in the slightest. This might do it. No! Oh, wait a minute, dude. He's even okay. going for those stage spikes. Great tech from Gilhu, of course, but Javi is looking so consistent in his punish game. Gilhu really has nowhere to run, and the few times he does control neutral, the few times he gets his punish game Ooh, going, that I don't see him going that far. And yes, that shield was about to break. It barely didn't. Yeah, now now Gilhu is at 120%. He's not looking like in the first few games that he, he was like doing a lot of patience. Maybe, maybe what I'm looking at is like... Like, well, now Gilhu is doing a lot of patience, and Javi saw that and was like, okay, maybe what I need to do now is be more aggressive, and maybe because I I have a custom Gilhu to play in a very, 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 like, uh, campy no, situation. Whoa. Well, now we, so we see that Javi, <laughs> again, is, like, maintaining a lot of pressure and being very, very aggressive, and that's why this game is going, like, a lot for Javi. Yes, indeed. Even with the pressure that Gilhu might put on, Hobby seems to be really on... Uh, uh, he does not flinch at all. He is, like, not surprised, unamused, and of course the, the neutral control is still foreign thanks to that disjoint he has, but, you know, Gilhu does get something going here. He might we be able to take another stock, and we know that another stock being taken means that Gilhu could be really close to just taking the game for himself with one of his classic robberies that he can pull off, but the percent keeps building on. Oh, barely missing, but Hobby might just end it here. No, dude, great space. Oh my God, no. break. And that's the tournament, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna be it. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. And not everybody. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, like Gilhu was like, nope, I don't wanna see this. Quit. Let's run away. Yeah, you win. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> Damn, son. Not the way I expected things to end, but hey, it is what it is. We have our new champion, Hobby wins 77th Factor Machine number six. Yeah, number number six, Hobby wins now. This tournament, um, props, props to Gilhu to go like very, very far to Grand Finals. He did a pretty good job in finding these skills. Unfortunately, well, he can he encounters to Javi and Javi like, like he went 3-0 against against Gilhu. There were no resets, so we get to sleep early now. But I mean, props to Gilhu. He's an amazing player, and I think that all have to like keep an eye on this player that is doing really good. Oh, definitely. This guy is certainly a master of his character. I don't see anybody else play Kirby quite like him, and he really does make things happen with a very limited character. But hey, it is what it is, guys. Even though Gil, he got second place, I think he won in all our hearts.
Y yeah. bueno, como ya se fueron los estadounidenses, ya podemos hablar en español. Ya podemos hablar en español. Esto ya no se suba a Billy Bootcamp, entonces eh, ya, ya podemos despedirnos ahora sí bien como va, porque pues gracias eh, you know, el, el, el inglés es para que los sets, los bots se suban a Billy Bootcamp. Gracias, banda, por estar aquí. Y también, por cierto, no sé si vieron, pero perdió México 3-0. Entonces, pues, ya, yeah, ni modo. Qué raro, México perdiendo. En, otros, en otras cosas, ¿no? O sea, en, otras Nigeria, cosas, en otras cosas que no sea que no sea Smash, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, en, en, Smash, en Smash siempre gana México, pero pues ahora ya valió. <risa> no, pero sí, estuvo, estuvo muy hype este, el torneito. Este, gracias a todas las, todas las personas que se estuvieron quedando. Eh, de igual manera, pues sigan a Toon. Eh, la verdad es que pues Toon se está rifando también en invitar a los casters a... A que estar esta semana, les están poniendo muy muy padres Yo he ido a un par de ellos, así que si son de Ciudad de México Y no han ido, muy mal por ustedes, tienen que ir Si pasan a Steam, se sube a BG Bootcamp Entonces está muy muy padre eh, Los semanales, eh, los semanales son en la Casa Factor, por si gustan ir Entonces pues, espero verlos allá también Y pues también que no se pierdan las transmisiones Por Smash Factor Gaming Colonia Ansures, calle, calle Bradley 77, es donde suceden esos torneos. Y bueno, banda, gracias por estar aquí. Ahora sí nos despedimos, que pasen ustedes una muy buena noche y nos vemos la próxima semana para Casa Blanca. Hasta la próxima. Nos vemos la próxima semana, hasta la próxima.